Hello, and welcome to what's left of my teenage room. <laughs> so right now the room is kind of like a storage unit slash laundry space, um, which is why it looks chaotic behind me. Um, but I've actually accomplished quite a bit. If you take in consideration, you could not walk here nor back that way, which you can do now, and even back right behind here. I've gone through a lot of stuff. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm trying to go through, I haven't looked at my room in like six years, um, give or take. And like, I haven't thoroughly gone through anything longer than that. Um, cause I moved down to Florida like eight, almost nine years ago. So if you can imagine, um, and I more or less kind of like started over really. So there's a lot of stuff here from college, a lot of stuff here from high school, um, but it's a lot. Don't even look at my closet. There's just, that's just a mess. Um, but I wanted to share with you, I'm trying to narrow down everything and like keep it to just this one shelf here. Um, cause my parents are moving out here soon. Um, and I don't want them to have too much stuff to have to send me that. And I don't even know where I would put it to be honest with you. Um, but there's a lot and you can kind of see, I painted my room a lot. I'll kind of do a quick little Turn around. Sorry for my hair. I haven't like done anything other than go through my room today. Um, jump five autographs up there. I just can't get to that right now. And then that's a painting back there that I have to take down. I just don't have anywhere to put it right now. Um, but yeah, I was able to paint my room. My parents let me do the fun things like that. Um, but there's a couple of things that I found that I wanted to show you. I have to figure out how to prop you up here first. We're going to use do... Oh, that's too low. No, it's too low. Here, we'll try. That's still too low. How, how on earth? There we go. That's much better. Um, I wanted to go, sorry, the lighting is also awful. I want to show you a couple of things that I found that I thought, I thought were really cool. And I just wanted to share with you before I potentially toss them or give them away. First off, um, so I started vlogging on my parents' camcorder. Well, technically their tape recorder, it was like this big with like the big VHSs. Like that's what I filmed on. Um, that's where I started. And then my parents got a digital camcorder, which I thought was the coolest thing ever at the time. Um, and then I filmed on, oh, I had them. Yeah, they're right here. I filmed on these tiny little tapes here. There's even still like stuff on here. Like there's Cheetah Girls concert. Wanna Games is on here that I filmed and that was like this big because like if you can imagine this had to fit in it um and then after that my parents got tired of me hogging the family camera I finally got my own vlogging camera um and I was very old but it this was it I remember I got it for, as a Black Friday deal I think it was like $25 it had rechargeable batteries which I still have two I even have I believe this is the recharger for it this is the charger for it you stick them in like so. I think this is the charger for it. This might be the charger. I had a series of cameras. This might be the charger for my other one. I have two cameras here. Anyway, um, it was really cool because it was really small and it fit in anything. Um, you could put in uh, SD cards here. Um, it had like record or take pictures. Um, this was kind of zoom in and the brightness. Um, and then what I ever thought was really cool is you could do this. I thought this thing was the cool. I put the butterfly sticker of it. I thought this was the coolest thing ever. And you could reverse it. So you could film like this. I thought this was the coolest thing ever to the point where I used it to death. Like it, it literally just stopped working um, one day. So like a moment of silence. Rest in peace, camera you did your job well. So then when this eventually started to die, I got, um, I can't remember which one I got first because I have a camera that's more for taking pictures than for taking video. Um, is the cat trying to come in? Did something fall? I think someone was spying on me. Um, but anyway, I don't remember if I got my photography camera first or if I got my um 
this one first. Um, but this one took video. I got this one purely for video because it came, it filmed in HD, which was like a big deal at the time. The, the photos were crap, um, but the videos were great. It was actually even smaller because my foot photography camera was like this big. It was big and like this long. So like that was, it had its own case. It was near impossible to, to travel with. But this was the first like tiny camera. Had a really good zoom on it. Again, you would stick the, it even had like a tripod thing here, which that one did not have, I don't think. Oh, it did. Um, and you would stick them in here. Let's see, since I have this open. Can I even get the battery out? Oh no, I was gonna see if I can get the battery out. I can't get it out. Okay, well, I was gonna see if this charger works with this because this camera, I stopped using this camera just because the quality of my iPhone, because I got an iPhone after, because I was a late, a late bloomer to the iPhone party, but I got an iPhone and that video was better quality than this and it was easier. So I just stopped filming on it, but I think it still like works. Um, so there's that. Um, so those are the two cameras that I wanted to share. Then I also wanted to share, I found my very first Game Boy. So this was also a Black Friday special. Um, we did, we had Xbox and then PC. Um, we didn't have any handheld games, but I was like, begged my mom. I really wanted this because I really wanted to play the Pokemon games on it. And I got it, um, it doesn't even have a black light. I got it as a Black Friday special and I found it and I screamed. I have this cool little case for it. Um, I wonder what games I have in here because I like glanced at the games because I was like, oh, I need to film about this later. Most of my games actually I have with me at, back at Florida because I got a Nintendo, I got a Nintendo SD, which was, the, or Game Boy SD, which was like the com computer laptop looking thing that was like a square. And then I got a DS and that's pretty much what I played all of my games on. Um, but it looks like in this, I only have two games. I have Golden Sun, which from what I remember was like a, a storyline game. It was like fantasy. I remember liking it. So I'm probably going to play that while I'm here. And then it looks like I have the Pokemon trading card game, which was actually how I properly learned how to play Pokemon because I actually played the Pokemon trading card game in the league, but I only played it like once or twice. I don't think I really understood it. So I got that and that helped me. So I'll play those while I'm here because Jared's been hawking the switch. Um, so I thought that was cool. And then I wanted to share a couple more things. Um, this is the last thing that's like my personal history. Um, I have some Disney things here that I found, but this is um, a magazine. Um, my senior year, I was a part of, I think it was media production or marketing. It was like marketing, um, like paper media of all different kinds. But one of our final projects was we had to make a magazine. We were put into groups. Um, we had to come up with like a concept and write articles and so on and so forth about it. And so ours was called Venture. Um, based in Virginia, West Virginia, North Carolina. That's where it was like a regional type thing or a local type thing, however you want to look at that. Um, but we wanted to focus on like small businesses and fun shops in the area and fun little local things that you can go and do that most people may not know of, whether they're new and upcoming or they're old favorites. And to do this, we actually went on a trip. We went to Charlottesville. This one is based off of Charlottesville. Yeah, feature location, Charlottesville, Virginia. Weekend trip under $100. And that's literally what we did. We went to Charlottesville, Virginia. Got, all got in a car, my, my group and I. And we went to go and just look. We found there's a place in here about... Um, so I just want to show you. All of this stuff, like my, my team made. And again, the lighting is awful. I'm so sorry. But like, here's our team. Again, bad picture. Um, at our banks, beaches, Hiker's Corner. I made this article and this layout. Um, Urban Outfitters ad here that I made. Um, we went to a, a, it's called a One Meatball Place. Um, we just kind of found this place and we ate there and took some fun pictures and wrote about how good it was. Um, did it, we stopped by University of Virginia. Um, there's, an, there's an ad for the meatball place. Um, this was about, we went to an old library and we went downtown to look at more of the historical side of it and took these gorgeous pictures. Um, 10 tricks to traveling cheap. This is literally a picture I took like while we were in the car and different tips that, and things that we did. Cause we, I mean, we were university students. Like we wanted to make sure that we could afford it as well. 
Um, this is about hiking. I went on a hiking trip um, that was like not a part of the trip, but it was like in the area of Charlottesville. Um, and then we wanted to do like an Instagram feature where like you could get featured in our, our magazine. And we all had different p pictures and things from random stuff. Um, this is more about traveling. Um, but like in the back of it, it's got like, you can kind of see it's all the different states in the area, but like, we thought it was a really cool concept and really a cool idea. And I had a lot, have a lot of great memories, not only with the team, but like creating this and working on it. It was very much a passion project, not just like a senior project. Um, and it was, I guess we put so much love into it that it actually won an award. Um, unfortunately it was like my senior semester and I had already moved down to, um, Florida. So I could not come back for the award ceremony. Um, I don't think it, it, I don't, I don't remember if it won an award or if it was like, um, nominated for an award either, or, um, it was for like an, an uh, arts, um, thing in Virginia and it was like a really really big deal like something that like, my professors were like you need to put this on your resume um but like I'm really proud of this magazine we all got a copy of it but um that's something cool that I wish like if I lived in the area I could have continued to do um and just like do like a blog type of a thing um because it was just really cool to learn about different areas and things in um, Virginia but I'm gonna end this little video on I found two books here well I found a lot of books but these were the first two that I grabbed that I wanted to kind of look at blindly um they're Frommer's Walt Disney World with your family books there's two little ones um there's a couple of other kind of books similar to this that I kind of found that I already put in my giveaway um and this one is I guess new for 2011 this one's new for 2012 I guess they come out with one every year or at least they used to and it's just been really interesting to look at like what the focus was then because this is like you know over 10 years ago and it's just interesting to hear like people's opinions on things and look at how things have changed and this has been interesting even to the point where I actually found a couple of ornaments that I got from my first college program um that I decided to sell just because there's nowhere for me to put it there's no need for it and I have this little cute little aerial snow globe um ornament i used to have a tree that had all aerial stuff um and i don't like really need that anymore um but this i have the price tag on a sale and it was 13.95 i can't imagine an ornament like this selling for 13.95 like this would be like 25 something now and it's just kind of crazy to me i even found um there's like this little mickey mouse thing here it said it used to go for 19 this went for 19.95 can you imagine a little snow globe statue like this going for for under $20 at Disney World like this would be 30 if not $40 um and what's just interesting is it has like the sorcerer's hat in there you can see and it's just it's sorcerer hat the castle the tree and the spaceship earth but it's just like little things like that that I've just like realized like wow wow time has changed hasn't it and there was like something else in here about like oh I can't remember what it was about it was about like a show that's not even a thing anymore um, and how important it was to get a seat. It's the best thing around him. Um, I think it was about the, um, backlot tour area at Hollywood City. But anyway, I just wanted to share that with you guys, um, before I, like, get rid of some of these things. And, um, that is one thing that I'm going to end on is, if you're still watching this video, if you are, hey, hi. Um, one thing that my, I've been, like, telling my family and, like, kind of telling myself is it's, like, you have something. Okay, you want to keep it. Does it have a place? Does it physically in your world have a place where it can go, where it's up out of the way? And does it have a use? If that use is sentimental, that's great. If it doesn't have a sentimental, a strong sentimental use, then there's no reason to keep it. Like these. They were important at the time, but they're absolutely not important anymore. They're, they're out of date. They're old. So they're going in the trash. Um, and then also that, it's like, would somebody else like this? No. These are outdated. You don't want these. I promise you don't want these. Just like my camera. Like, they might be able to get it to work. But I don't even know if it actually works. So, anywho. Um, thank you guys for watching this video. And I hope you guys had happy holidays. And I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.